In football history, we have seen some dramatic scandals. We have seen top clubs pay referees. We have seen teammates fight. We have seen players bite. And we've even seen Richard Keyes sacked from Sky Sports. Because apparently it, it was, was just, just banter. banter. In the history of our beautiful game, have we ever seen a scandal quite like Maxi Lopez and Mauro Icardi? What happened with these two players? Let's begin. Who are Maxi Lopez and Mauro Icardi? Maxi Lopez is a striker born in Argentina who has played for 12 different teams in a career spanning 18 years. Maxi has scored 83 goals in 363 appearances for his clubs in his career. He also once played for Barcelona, which you may not have known. He scored two goals in 19 appearances for the Catalan Giants and it wasn't the best time for him in Spain. Lopez has also spent eight years of his career in Italy, most notably for Sampdoria, Milan, Catania and also Torino. He always seemed like a decent striker who now and then would be a threat for opposing defenders. Not a world-class striker, not even really a consistently good striker, but still, he was a danger in the box. Lopez was born in Buenos Aires, Argentina and grew up playing for River Plate. He made his senior debut at the age of 17 in 2001. Maxi is a guy who's played his football in Brazil, Argentina, Spain, Italy and even Russia. He holds an Argentine and Italian passport. Well, that's Maxi Lopez, who is Mauro Icardi? Icardi was born in Rosario, Argentina and grew up in Argentina until the age of nine, where he traveled around the world to Spain and lived in the Canary Islands. It's a long way to go, but obviously it definitely paid off for Icardi. Icardi began his football career with a team called Vecindario in Gran Canaria and scored over 500 goals in their youth teams. In 2007, Barcelona and Real Madrid joined the battle to sign Icardi. Valencia, Liverpool, Arsenal and Sevilla also wanted to buy the young striker. It was Barcelona, however, who was successful in bringing Icardi to Catalonia and he stayed there for three years in Spain. Interesting, isn't it, how both these guys played for Barca at some point. Icardi did very well at Barcelona and was actually promoted to the under-19 squad. This guy scored a lot of goals for Barca. However, in January 2011, Sampdoria agreed a loan deal to bring Icardi to the Italian side. He hit the ground running. Icardi scored 13 goals in 19 games for the Primavera team, and in July 2011, Sampdoria agreed a 400,000 euro deal with Icardi and Barcelona. Both clubs finalized the deal, and Icardi later stated that he never regretted leaving Barca. In July 2013, two years later, Inter Milan offered Sampdoria £11.7 million to sign Icardi. Sampdoria accepted this transfer deal and Icardi remained Inter to this day. What a bargain Inter got, by the way. This guy's probably worth easily £100 million now. He's absolutely fantastic for them. Icardi is a striker that every top club would want to sign. However, is there a reason why he's still at Inter Milan? Let's dive deeper. You're probably wondering, hey Matt, these two players sound like good guys and good teammates. What what the hell happened? Well, it's time to find out. Get ready. When Icardi moved to Barcelona, there was another man there who became his best friend. Yep, you guessed it, Maxi Lopez. The two strikers would regularly hang out outside of training and became very close outside of football. They'd constantly be seen hanging out in the town, going to get food at restaurants, having barbecues with friends and family. Like, they were very, very close friends. Gotta be said, though, my favorite kind of food is barbecue food in the summer when there's, like, an FA Cup final on or the World Cup is on. There's no better food than that for me. I, I love that. Anyway, in 2008, something very important happened for Maxi Lopez. Lopez got married to Juan de Nara who was someone Icardi got to know very well as he was spending a lot of time with the family. Whenever there was like a family barbecue on, barbecues again, they sound fantastic, don't they? Icardi would always be regular there, spending a lot of time with Max Lopez and his wife, Wanda Nora, and he got to know everyone with their family. Another massive thing to note here, guys, is that Icardi was very happy for Maxi Lopez, his best friend at the time. And Icardi himself was on record stating that he was really happy for Maxi to find the woman of his dreams. 
A few years go by in 2012, four years later, having already joined Sampdoria in Italy, Icardi was actually surprised to see Maxi Lopez had also signed for Sampdoria, so now they were full on teammates. They were very briefly teammates at Barcelona, just to add on to that guys, whereas Sampdoria they became, yeah, normal teammates. More importantly, these two players were reunited to the fullest degree. They were spending even more time together, going on family vacations, going on boat trips, having more barbecues together. Now older though, four years later, to their previous club, Icardi had become closer to Maxi Lopez's wife Wanda. At the same time, Maxi Lopez's marriage to Wanda was already breaking down and was looking quite bleak. Icardi would be someone that Wanda would speak more to the more they spent time together with everyone else. If they all went out together as family and friends, Icardi and Wanda would speak quite often. Nothing out of the unusual, they would just be friends at this time, however, things developed. In 2013, there was a friendly match being played between a team in the United States of America and Inter Milan, so a club in USA was playing Inter, and obviously Icardi flew out for this friendly match. That is when Mauro Icardi got a surprising text from Juan Donara, the wife of Maxi Lopez. Icardi was very surprised as usually he would get attacks from his friend Maxi, not Wanda, directly, yet this time it was different. Wanda texted Icardi, texting whether he could buy her an iPad while out in USA. That made Mauro think, is she finding an excuse just to speak to Icardi or is there more to this? It was at this moment that Mauro and Wanda, the wife of Maxi Lopez, began to talk a lot more freely and openly via the phone. A few months later, after the USA trip with Inter Milan, Icardi received a text from Wanda asking him to come on a boat trip with Maxi Lopez and other family members. During this boat trip, Icardi was relaxing on the second floor of the boat, just relaxing, listening to reggae music, I believe, at the time. And to his surprise, Wanda came over and sat next to him without any hesitation and being a lot more freely and open with him than ever before. From this very moment, Icardi and Wanda began dating and a year later, they were married. You could kind of tell the writing was on the wall when he was asked quite a lot to go on these trips with the family and friends, even when Maxie's there. And the fact that obviously they became a lot closer, Maxie probably saw this writing on the wall. Poor Maxi Lopez, oh, let's be honest guys, all he wanted to do was have a nice sunny boat trip with his best friend and wife and family members and what he got in return was that his marriage was over and his best friend betrayed him in the probably worst kind of ways. Question guys, if you are married and then your best friend or even just, you know, a friend betrays you like this, how would you respond? I would be full of anger, I would be livid, ah, Jesus Christ, but what would you do? It's an anger that no one wants to have, but Maxi Lopez is a guy who's had this anger. You thought this was all with the beef, didn't you? Just, you know, normal, regular affair going on, right? Nope, you're wrong guys, let's carry on. There is more beef to be had with this barbecue. Two years later, Icardi now married to Wanda, the former wife of Maxi Lopez, and she's also Icardi's agent. And she's also regularly on TV. So not only has there been a massive, incredibly insane affair happened with two footballers and former teammates, two very close friends. Imagine being Maxi Lopez and then seeing your ex-wife constantly on TV, on Italian national TV, on the sports channels, talking about Icardi. It, it really is really, really mad to see this in football. That same year, Icardi was playing against Maxi Lopez's team at the time, and it was in Serie A in Italy, the top league in the Italian football leagues, and this happened. Icardi offered to shake Lopez's hand, and obviously Lopez denied it and made a gesture to Icardi. Again, you may have thought that this beef ended here, yet, yet guys, it didn't. This may shock you, this may surprise you, in 2014, Mauro Icardi got the names of Maxi Lopez's children tattooed on the left arm of his body. I am not joking. I, I genuinely think a lot of you guys may have been shocked by this. It, this, <laughs> these guys from Argentina, well, Icardi, what a wild guy. Wow. Honestly, this is crazy, crazy. To no one's surprise, Maxi Lopez was quite 
furious with his children's names being on Mauro Cardi's body, and he responded. He said, I can understand that being a public figure, he published his photos, but I'm not comfortable with my kids being in those photos, Lopez said to Sky Sports in Italy. He then stated, The kids are my strength, and they know I would do everything to protect them because they mean everything to me. That is where the incredible, fascinating football beef between Maxi Lopez and Mauro Icardi concludes. This has been some of the most interesting and just unbelievable, I guess, content to research, guys. It's been really, really, really good fun to make this video for you guys today. Is this the biggest football betrayal of all time? Let me know in the comments. If you want more content like this, please leave a like. We put a lot of effort into this as like, a, I guess like a, you know, mini documentary series. I'm really enjoying making these. Your support is so amazing, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And what would you do if you were Maxi Lopez?